Yo, what is up guys? This is quicker than you hear, bringing you a competitive gameplay. This is actually going to be a team scrim against Epsilon. Um, I, don't, I've, I do apologise for lack of videos, by the way guys. I've just been, I've been slacking since I got back. Um, we, we were just grinding like mad before the event. We were putting in stupid hours. Um, we'd be scrimming from 6, maybe before 6, probably like 5, up until around midnight. Then we'd look at the maps we lost, we'd analyse our mistakes and stuff. But yeah, um, I just wanted to let you know that I'm back now. Going to be posting every single fucking day. But I'm too pro. Let's kick off the recap. So, had an early night, woke up on a Saturday. First game, we had a bye. Second round, we played against a team called Reflex. Um, we actually beat them 3-1. We lost s &D because we had no communication. Um... That was alright, quite a straightforward series. Second series we played Riot. Riot, this team were beating us online non-stop. Um, we actually won first map. Should have won second, we just... We missed out on so many rounds, man. It was quite appalling, to be honest. Um, then we went on to play an uplink. We won an uplink. Uh, which was a good good map one. Then we lost a hard point And final map was a map that none of us had played individually, never mind as a team, so we lost that 6-3 or 6-4. Should have been even closer had we played it, but look at me with gravity spikes, bro. I'm, I'm literally appalled with these things. This was, this was like the first time I'd used them, and I just had no idea what I was doing. But um, this was actually an online team scrim against Epsilon, who recently qualified for the COD World League, so we're playing against a top-notch team that have won multiple events between them, so, you know, we're playing against like, a, like, a really solid roster, one of the best teams in Europe, and... We play this really well, um, it, it kind of shows what we're capable of when we're all playing well, and that's it's pretty frightening to be honest. Um, back time to Pro though, so we lost to Riot on the Saturday night, um, going into Sunday, we were just, we're in the losers bracket, you know, you can't, you can't be too down, you just need to go hard literally every map because anything can happen in the losers bracket, so anything can happen in general, but losers bracket, it's just there's, there's more pressure on you, so. Uh, first map, we lost first map against a team called U4X and that was literally the worst possible start we could have got off to but um, we hit back, we won the S&D, like if we had lost that S&D and went down 2-0 in losers bracket that would have been <sighs> that would have been a horrible position to be in but uh, we hit back, won the S&D, everyone played well in the S&D on the uplink, we played the uplink, won that comfortably um, in the hard point we, we nearly 100 point clubbed them so in the end it was a comfortable win we went on to play against a team called E4, um, a team that were pretty well practiced online and stuff. Um, we, I'd, I'd been watching them, and I noticed that they used, well, they preferred to use two kudas. So I straight up banned that shit, and then the guy that was using it primarily went like 20 and 40. So um, that was the first map in the bag, and then the S&D, one of our stronger maps, we won that 6-3. And then Uplink went up 10-0 and like, or yeah, I think we got we got ten caps inside. Oh my god, bro! Look at me with these gravity spikes. We got ten caps in like uh, two and a half minutes, maybe three, and then we ended up closing that game out. That was a good series. So after that, we played against Vitality, which is Gitaga, Whalers, Broken, and Riskin. Uh, we got off to one of the fastest starts our team, I'd say, on that map, and then S and D got fourteen kills. We lost. We won that, I think we lost 6-4 or 6-3. That We probably should have won that map. Um, if we were more practiced, 100% we would have. And then, not blink, won that. It was a pretty straightforward game. And the hard point, the final hard point, bro, that was that was a close game. Um, we won 3-1 against uh, Vitality, and then we came up against Riot again. Uh, they just, they, we won the S&D this time, but we lost every other respawn, which was quite depressing. However, they were... One of the teams that were beating us online and stuff, and they're—I think they're just one of our toughest like matchups, um, because they have lost the teams that we've beaten stuff. So it was just one of them where they—they're probably our our counter, if anything. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much the the recap of Am2 Pro. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like in a comment. I will be posting, um, as I've got my scuff now. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier on in the video, but I've got my scuff now, so I'm going to be posting vid uh, anything, live commentaries, all that shit, so yeah, just look out for that, um, make sure you subscribe if you're not already, thank you all for watching the video, and goodbye.